Hi everyone and welcome to day four of our pranayama and breathwork practice. Um, as you all know by now, I'm taking all these breathwork exercises from my own book, this one here. And today we're really coming to nearly the final one. We have two more to introduce. So what I'll do today is I'll introduce you to uh, one more breathwork exercise called Bashtrika, which is the bellows breath, which I'll explain in a couple of minutes. And then at the end, when we finish up, we'll just have a couple of moments of silence. And then I'll introduce you to the final one, which is Brahmary, which is the black bee breath. We won't do that today. We'll actually do that tomorrow. So tomorrow for our final day, we'll do a whole pranayama practice from start all the way through. We'll do every single one of the exercises so that you get an idea of what a full pranayama practice looks like. All these uh Practices are all in the book uh, and I'm doing them in exactly the same sequence as they are in the book so that if you do get the book or when you get the book that you can just see them. You can use this video then to go through each one of them and see how they're done. So um, I think that a, a video display of how to do them is very, very helpful when you're going through the book as it can be a bit uh, out of context when you're reading it sometimes. So this video will be available all the time to go with the book as a companion guide to the book. There's also a companion guide to the book on YouTube as well. So there's lots of um, you have lots of access to different uh, sources to show the physical side of the practice. So today I'm going to introduce you to uh, Bra um, sorry to Bastrika, and Bastrika is a very very powerful practice. Okay, it's uh, it comes after Kapalbhati which we introduced yesterday and it's called the bellows breath and it's a nice thing to picture when you're doing this is that idea of opening up the bellows and then pushing the bellows close and you know that powerful breath or that air that shoots out of the bellows so you can picture it opening up 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 and then bang closing and all the air shooting out of the bellows okay so we're going to try that it's a very I say a very very physical exercise Again, if you feel any dizziness with this uh, itself and Kapalbhati can create dizziness sometimes. It's, it's not unusual for that to happen. And if it does happen, just, um, just relax, take it easy, take it a couple of deep, long, slow breaths and just bring yourself back. And don't worry about it. It's something that you get used to and that that dizziness should pass away. Okay, so let's try this. So sitting nice and straight, again, as always, breathing in and out through your nostrils. We'll just take a couple of breaths. Inhale deeply. Push your navel out. And exhale completely. Let your navel come right into your spine. And now we'll do Bastrika. So Bastrika is sitting nice and straight. Inhale, bring both your arms up, fingers wide open. Bring both your arms right up. Now clench your hands, clench your, make fists of your hands and breathe out through your nose, shooting the air out, go. And bring your elbows right into the side of your body. So that's open your fingers out wide. Inhale, bring both arms up. And so you're pushing the air out through your nostrils and you're pulling your navel right into your spine in that powerful, forceful breath out. So let's try that one more time. Inhale, both arms up, fingers wide. Make a fist with both hands and... And one more. Maybe one more just for fun. Lovely. So what we'll do in our practice is, after we do Kapalbhati today, we'll do Bhastrika and we'll do five rounds. Uh, we might do five rounds twice, actually. Uh, generally, I would do three times. Maybe tomorrow we'll do three, but just when you're getting used to it today, we'll just do two. So we'll do five pumps like that, and then we'll inhale and exhale, and then we'll hold our breath. And then we'll do one more round, and we'll do the same thing, hold our breath, and then continue on from there. Okay, so let's start our practice today. Sitting nice and straight, Couple of deep long breaths again. Starting with Ujjayi.
Let your chin drift down towards your chest. Just, keep, just breathing just slightly for the moment. Now constrict your airwaves just slightly and make the sound of the ocean as you inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Empty the lungs completely on your exhalation. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And lift your chin up. Take a couple of breaths. We'll continue with Samavritti. Square breathing. Inhale for four. Hold your breath for four. Exhale for four. And hold your breath outside of your body for a count of four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath outside of your body, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath outside of your body, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath outside of your body, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath outside of your body, one, two, three, four. Final round. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath outside of your body, one, two, three, four. And inhale and exhale and relax. And continue with Kapalbhati. As you know, you force the air out through your nostrils and at the same time you pull your navel into your spine. So you go... <laughs> Today we'll take it nice and easy. We'll do three rounds. We'll do 20, 25 and 30. Tomorrow we'll push it a little bit further. So today we'll do 20, 25 and 30. And in between we'll hold our breath. So sitting nice and straight and relaxed. Take a nice deep long breath, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Each time I want you to do a pumping, I will say the words pant to. Okay. So inhale and let's start. 20 beats and begin. Pant to, 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 exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now holding your breath, inhale and hold your breath. 
Let your chin drift down towards your chest. Now bring your chin up and exhale and inhale and exhale completely exhale and let's do the second round 25 beats inhale and begin pantu 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 exhale inhale exhale Holding your breath, inhale, and hold your breath. Let your chin drift down towards your chest. Holding the breath, relaxing your face and tongue. Bring your chin up. And exhale and inhale and exhale completely exhaling third round 30 beats inhale and begin Pantu, 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 Exhale. Now holding your breath. Inhale. Hold your breath. Let your chin drift down towards your chest. Relaxing your face. Relaxing your jaw. Holding your breath. Slowly bring your chin up and exhale and inhale and exhale and just continue for a couple of more breaths. We'll continue with Bastrika, the bellows breath which we introduced at the beginning of this practice. I see there's a couple of people there that just joined us, so I'll just explain that one more time. So with Bastrika, what you do is you open your fingers out wide, straighten your arms and inhale, bring both arms up, right up. And then you force the air out of your nostrils, closing your hands into a fist and go one more time. Inhale, both arms up, fingers wide, make fists and Bring your elbows right into the side of your body. So let's try that. We'll do two rounds of five and we'll hold our breath in between. Okay, so sitting nice and comfortably. Arms straight. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up and exhale, only through your nose. Inhale, both arms up, stretch and exhale. Take a deep breath. Exhale completely. 
Now you're going to hold your breath, so inhale. Hold your breath. Let your chin drift down towards your chest. Slowly bring your chin up and exhale. And inhale. And exhale completely. And let's do a second round. Both arms straight. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. One more. Inhale up, right up and and relax. Take a breath. Now we're going to hold our breath. So a nice inhale, maybe 70% of your capacity. Hold your breath. Let your chin go down towards your chest. Relax, completely relax. It's easier to hold your breath when you're relaxed. Teeth not touching, tongue relaxed. Slowly bring your chin up and exhale. Take a couple more breaths. We'll continue with Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. We'll do five rounds, inhaling for four and exhaling for eight. Again, as always, if the exhalation of eight is too much for you, just do seven or six. Don't put your body under any stress. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, index finger and middle finger to the base of your thumb, right thumb on your right nostril, straighten your spine, and inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8, inhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, Close the right, exhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. Inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In and to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In and to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In and to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In and to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. In and to right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Exhale to left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. Hand down. Deep long breaths. Relax your face.
Feel the benefit of dash practice, the Nadi Shodana. Now let's continue with Analoma Veloma, alternate nostril breathing with breath retention. We'll do four inhale. We'll hold our breath for maybe around 12 today and then we'll exhale for eight. So it may be a little bit stressful for those of you that are just setting out on this pranayama journey. So just take it nice and easy with yourself. Don't be too difficult. If you can follow this without any stress to your body, but if not, just change around the figures, okay? So I'm gonna inhale for four, hold for 12 and exhale for eight. The ultimate aim of this is to inhale for four, hold for 16 and exhale for eight. Okay, sitting nice and straight, spine nice and straight. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, right thumb on right nostril, and inhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale to left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8, final round. Inhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, close both nostrils, hold your breath. Exhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8, hand down. Now a few deep long breaths after that. Today we'll do uh, 
which one do Surya Chandra, Surya Chandra. Today we'll do uh, Surya Veda, I think. Surya Veda, Chandra Veda, Surya Veda. Sorry, excuse me. Today we'll do Chandra Veda. It's our fourth day. So we're going to do our cooling breath today. So we're going to use our left nostril today. So we're going to inhale on the left for a count of four and exhale on the right for a count of eight. And we'll do that five times in the left and out the right. Okay, so the left nostril is related to the moon. The moon is your cooling breath. So today we're going to cool our breath. It's also used this one for our saying in English where we say, I get hot under the collar. When you get a bit frustrated with anything, that's called hot under the collar. So it brings heat into your body. So if you want to cool down, then you can use this exercise as well. So it's kind of more to relieve frustration and stress. Okay. <clears throat> all the health benefits and all the physical and mental health benefits of all these practices are in my book. So we only have a short time every day here, so I don't have time to go into each one of them. So, but they're all in the book. Okay, so let's do this. So sitting nice and straight. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra. So again, bend your index finger and middle finger down to the base of your thumb. We're doing the left nostril. So closing the right nostril, straightening the spine, chin parallel to the floor. And inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8, close the right, inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8, Close the right, inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. Close the right, inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4. Close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8. Final round, close the right, inhale through left, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, close the left, exhale through right, om 1, om 2, om 3, om 4, om 5, om 6, om 7, om 8, hand down. Just take a few deep long breaths now. Shoulder might be a little bit sore after three rounds of having that right arm up. You can move your shoulders forward in a circular movement like this or back and up and down and up and down. Just relieve that tension in the right shoulder. Lovely. It's actually, if you ever go to India, you can actually get a an implement that the sadhus use. It's called a danda and it fits in under your arm here and you can relax your arm on it. It's kind of like a pole with a little loop on it here. It's called a danda. So if you ever want to go to India, you can buy one of those for your pranayama practice. So we'll continue now with uh, sitali and sitkari. Okay, the hissing breath. Again, roll your tongue and breathe in across your tongue. And then when you're exhaling, you close your mouth and you exhale completely. If you can't roll your tongue, then you place the, your tongue at the back of your teeth. You roll it to the back of your teeth and close your mouth. So you'll see two little pieces of your tongue coming out of the side of your mouth. So, sitali and sitkari. Sitting nice and straight. Roll your tongue into position. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Close your mouth, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll your tongue and inhale, one, two, three, four. Close your mouth, exhale through your nose, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll your tongue and inhale, one, two, three, four. Close your mouth and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Roll your tongue and inhale, one, two, three, four. Close your mouth and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Roll your tongue and inhale one, two, three, four, and close your mouth and exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax and breathe. Close your eyes gently. Relax your face. Maybe let your chin drift down towards your chest. With an intense practice like this, it might be a good idea as well, maybe for tomorrow when we do the full, full practice, that you actually lie on the floor afterwards on your back with your palms facing up towards the ceiling and maybe take five, ten minutes just to let the benefit of this pranayama and all this new prana and energy that comes into your body, let the benefits move through your body for five, ten minutes afterwards. Okay, so it's just a nice thing to be able to do. If you have time to do it, please do that. So I'm going to finish the practice now, but before we finish, I want to introduce it to our final pranayama technique. This one at the moment is a very, very uh, apt practice. It's called Brahmari, which is black bee. There's two types of bees in a hive. Uh, there's the drones and then there's the black bee. And the black bee is the worker and the black bee makes a certain sound. So when you're doing advanced practice for this, we actually make the humming sound on the way in and the way out. This is a humming. So we hum like a bee. Okay. So as I say, for advanced practice, we do the hum on the way in and the way out. But for this, we're just going to do the hum on the way out. Okay. To hear what it sounds like on the way in, it sounds like this. But you don't need to know that. Okay. And on the way out, it's not really a hum. The sound of this is like an NG, like oh, oh, like that. And you'll feel the vibration of it. It comes from the back of your throat, from the way back here in the back of your throat, not from your nose. You'll feel it from the back of your throat. So it's more an NG sound. Okay. So what that does, is it sets up a vibration. The vibration, you can feel it in your bones. And what a lot of people do in this is they actually put their thumbs in their ears and place their fingers down along their face, over their eyes, the side of their nose, the side of their mouth and their chin like this. And they hum and they feel the vibration going into their whole face, all the bones in their face. So what this is doing, it's very, very interesting what it does. It's generating nitric oxide in your sinuses. Okay, so that's what it does first of all. It generates nitric oxide in your sinuses. The only other way we can generate nitric oxide in our body is actually by eating green vegetables and it's produced on our tongue when we do that, but very, very little of it. So generally, it, the sinuses and only breathing in and out through your nose produces nitric oxide. So if you hum and if you do this practice, it increases the production of nitric oxide in your nasal cavity area by up to 50 times. So what's the importance of this nitric oxide? What this nitric oxide does is it opens up all the capillaries and all the breathing apparatus up here in your face and also it sterilizes the air. So nitric oxide sterilizes the air. So when you do this, you generate the nitric oxide 50 times more than usual and then you inhale it down into your lungs and what it does is it sterilizes all the air coming in and sterilizes all the capillaries and cavities and everything in your lungs as well okay so that's the importance of it and it's very very important at this time when we have a virus going around the place any type of virus even covid19 that we can do this practice sterilize the air coming in and then exhale it out and sterilize all the area in our lungs okay so this is called bramery black bee it's really the, the pranayama of the present and the pranayama of the future. So let's just try that, okay? So sitting nice and straight. We won't use our fingers today. We might use it on the second one. We'll do two rounds of it, okay? So inhale nice and gently. And now hum. Mm -hmm.
and inhale deeply. Hold your breath just for a pause for a moment. And then exhale nice and slowly. Empty the lungs completely. And one more inhale. And just hold the breath just slightly when you inhale. And exhale completely. So we'll try that one more time. And this time we'll put our fingers in our ears and put the fingers down along our face just to see the feeling of it, okay? So this practice can be done, would you believe, up to 20 minutes, okay? Uh, it's very, very nice practice, actually, if you're with a group of people that are doing it because there's different vibrations going on in the room and it gives a very, very nice atmosphere. You feel like you're sitting in a beehive <laughs> with no panic. So let's try that again. So sitting nice and straight. Nice big inhale. Place your thumbs in your ears, fingers down along your face, and hum. Mm -hmm. And inhale, deep, deep inhale. Hold your breath. Not for too long, just hold your breath, just slightly hold your breath, lovely, and exhale. And one more inhale. And exhale. Lovely, and that's Bramery. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do tomorrow is tomorrow's our final day. I'm going to come in, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to go through the whole practice in one go, okay? I'm not going to explain any of the methods or anything like that. I hope that everyone will be able to do it straight through tomorrow. So we'll go through it. We'll go through it uh, in the same, uh, in the same, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, excuse me. In the same, the same as it is in the book, okay? Exactly the same, all the practices straight through in one session. So as I said earlier, it would be a good idea tomorrow that if you are doing going to do the full practice, that you have a mat that you can lie on afterwards and maybe take five, 10 minutes afterwards just to relax and let all the energy come into your body because it's very important that that energy that you create during the pranayama goes through your body and serves you during your day or evening whenever you're doing this practice. So I just chant a Shanti Mantra now and we'll finish. Purnamida Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnadamaya Purnameva Vashishate O Shanti 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 Namaste and thank you. And remember, if you want to leave a donation, you can do so on my Facebook page, Dermot Ryan Yoga, and just click on the Book Now button. Thank you very much for joining me again today, and we'll see you all tomorrow for the final day of the Pranayama and Breathwork Week. Have a great day. Thank you.